Now you visualize some no, cinematically no. like I already know what I'm thinking. Like, All right. I know what I want to do. You might be talking to the director today, bro. Hey, man. You look like Spike Lee over there. I'm working on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a joint. It's a joint. It's, it's a joint. It's a joint. It's a, it's, it's it's a, a joint. D-Money joint. Exactly. You know We got our, our brand new product, the YouTube, the ultimate YouTube marketing guide ebook. I want you guys to click down in the subscription. This is going to give you impactful information. You know, I've gotten so many different um, ebooks from different people, and it's basically like basic stuff. This goes from basic to intermediate to advanced. You've never done YouTube marketing before. This is the jam. I want you guys to go check it out. It's very, it's for an honest. I'm completely giving this away. Bro, I've discounted 70%. Ooh, right? That's big, bro. We got to talk out the pot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 70%? 70% off. Limited time only. Go ahead and check it out. The link's in the description. Go and get it. Deuces. Deuces. Man, what? What we got guests here again, yes. y'all. Y'all understand. Yes. We bring people into the house mm. that are going to bring information to y'all. Yes. And we just... We just, I'm we just let, I'm just let dirt. Yes. Go, go, go okay, for it, so, dirt, man. Go. So we got my friend here, uh, Richard, and basically he's going to go over uh, basically some some techniques and some strategies he has done in business. He's going to talk about his background uh, in business as well as his his background as an actor, and you know his brother is also a musician too at the same time. So we always have all that that music stuff in common. Mm -hmm. His uh, his brother's also done some albums. Done some music and release some music too. So you know, I know uh, Sincere's actually released some stuff too God, at the same time. Understand? You know what I'm yeah, you know. You know, got. I don't want to steal the shine. Exactly. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, Sincere's got stuff coming you know, out. That's God out this week. Exactly. La la la. Uh -huh. It actually does say la 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 on the title. It's I that, saw that. That's God. Right? La okay. la la. <laughs> okay. Man, mm. get into it. Get the single. Go out there and stream it. Do whatever you got to do. But let's get back to our special guest this yes. morning. Actor, insurance, insurance agent, agent, business entrepreneur, business entrepreneur, world traveler, world traveler, uh, uh, sparring partner, sparring partner, martial artist, martial artist, <laughs> making me blush over here. Come on, guys, guys, do y'all understand? We don't yeah. have just anybody on the pod. Yeah. One more time. TTMT, King D Money, here on D and D Level Podcast. Podcast. We have. Richard Capaldo. Nice to be here. Glad to be here. Thank you guys for having me. I Thank appreciate you. That. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah, man. Absolutely, yes, man. Sir. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, I was talking to Richard because I have a friend of mine who's who's uh, uh just came back from Italy. So your your background's Italian and Irish. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Italian yeah. and Irish, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. Yeah, so interesting combo. Across yeah. the water. Interesting very combo. interesting yeah. combo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah, that's famous from Italy, yeah. Very famous from Italy. Yeah. So there's always that, you know, I always see like actors like, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, Robert De Niro and there's some, you know, like a couple of people from Boston who are like, there's always that mix, like that New York mix. So they're either like Irish or Italian and they have that kind of like that vibe, a certain type of vibe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, and I have a friend of mine, Don, he's, he's a great guy. He's from, from New York too. But are you originally, where are you originally from? I'm actually originally from South Florida, yeah. So okay. Fort Lauderdale, actually born and raised. Hey, okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. South Florida in the house, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I understand. We keep yeah. it homegrown here. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Born and raised. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I didn't, I didn't know that. So that's something we didn't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 So so you are. So tell us about your uh, your background, like where you where you come from. Basically, you come from South Florida. Uh, what do you what have you been working on right now? Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I was born in Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. obviously born and raised, stayed here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like you're saying, you know, education, work, all that stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, I did get a uh, bachelor's degree from the University of Central Florida. I was studying law, okay. uh, law and psychology. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, I was going to go to law school, pivoted over to business, ended up getting uh, an MBA from FAU with a specialization in entrepreneurship uh, wow. over at FAU. Um, and yeah, so, um, I, from there, I was a professor for a little while at a few local colleges What? and, uh, and was into commercial insurance now for probably a decade ish, um, and open up an insurance agency, which we can talk about, you know, later in the, the podcast. Um, yeah. 
or whatever. Mm -hmm. I uh, yeah, I mean, I've got two brothers down here. Mm -hmm. One of them is is uh, very musically uh, inclined and Shout oriented. Out to him. Yeah, yeah, just Joseph Capelbo, Joe Cap music, Joseph Capelbo music. Joe uh, Cap. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Capelbo music. He's uh, incredibly talented. Uh, just actually put out an album, um, and so, so yeah. Um, nice man. I don't want to yeah. interrupt you. How old are you again? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, I've done all this stuff already. <laughs> like what? Yeah. How old are you again, man? Um, I, I, just, I try to, you know, I try to just, you know, <laughs> keep moving, just forward <laughs> moving. Yeah, okay, so 37, 37. Okay, 37. We're gonna oh, go with 37. 37. Okay, okay. I'm like 10 years or something. I know. Yeah. Exactly. Man, I, I, I yeah. look in the mirror and I tell myself, like, Steve, did, you've done teaching for 17 years. Yeah. You, you did a whole adult in, in work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, uh, <laughs> well, this is, you know, That's every so day. I didn't teach for 17 years. I, I mean, did for a number of years. Yeah. For, for a number of years, yeah. man. I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, 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 know, I know the audience is going to be like, what, what are you talking about? Guys? Yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? No, that was, for a few, that, was, no, that was for a few years. The insurance. The insurance. Yeah, the insurance. The insurance. The insurance for 10 years. Like, hold on. Yeah. yeah. So what is what is that like? What is that like? Do you, did you like have an epiphany? Like, I want to do insurance? Or was it like, did a homeboy put you on? Or was it something you want, really wanted to do? Thank you for asking. Uh, so, yeah, it was a few things, you know. I so I like I said, I studied entrepreneurship. I've always, you know, I worked for a few startups when I was in uh, my MBA program, and I I love the culture. I love just the concept of it, mm -hmm. and. Um, and so one of the, you know, the major components of starting a business is making sure that you're covered and have your insurance, right? So, right. so yeah. I, uh, I was trying to really acquire insurance for a company that I had started uh, in the... Um, in the hemp space, so like okay. hemp-derived products, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I was finding it to be a bit difficult to acquire the insurance because of the mm -hmm. risk associated with okay. it. A lot yeah. of the carriers yeah. Yeah. don't cover yeah. it. Yeah. So um, you know, I basically ended up meeting a uh, an agency out in Colorado that, mm -hmm. that did cover it, mm -hmm. and um, and I ended up going back and forth to Colorado and getting mm -hmm. trained. Uh, on how to cover this particular space and then okay. learning just more about it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I was doing that back and forth. And then from there, I, uh, you know, long story short, mm -hmm. I ended up basically, uh, you know, working from Florida and covering the nation from there and specializing in yes. that space. Um, and so, you know, I know the, the operations, the products, the industry very well. Okay. And coupling that with understanding the insurance uh, industry, mm -hmm. uh, it really kind of put me in a niche sector where I was, Solving a lot of pains, creating a lot of gains for people. And <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Trailblazer. Yeah. yeah, man. Dirt. Yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, the thing is, I wanted to get back to, like, we got, you kind of skipped over this section. But, oh, please. Please. There's There's a lot, a lot, bro, I had please. to get, I had to calculate as a moment. I, please. Like, hold on. Exactly. Hold on. Whatever I skip, please, please go back. <laughs> I'm happy to talk about it. Yeah. Listen, this whole thing, first of all, I mean, we're all teachers here, which is kind of the strange, wow. you know, thread that we have. So, I don't know if you know that, 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 Daryl's a teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, they know that. Yeah. But besides all his other many talents. <laughs> but, but I was a teacher for 18 years as well in the school system, privately, in public school, and in other, in other places. So I didn't know that you were a teacher at or a professor. So that's, that's amazing. Getting back to the whole psychology and law thing, man, what, what happened with that, brother? So, uh, you know, I... I was very interested in, and I still am very interested in both psychology and law. I guess what I learned is that there are certain things that you're capable of, but it doesn't mean that, that you're supposed to be following that path. Yeah. So I mean, I'm interested in it. And I'm good at. It. I think it would have been a path that I could be very successful at. Um, but I, I had aspirations and just you know kind of intrinsic uh, passions and mm. you know things that I wanted to accomplish that were aside, kind of set aside from that path. And so I, I decided to follow that really. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I think you know. I love psychology, I, you know, I'm very interested in law and I, you know, I think there's certain aspects of it that I incorporate into what I do on a daily basis still, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with law, obviously insurance, there's, you know, some correlation there. So, and then with psychology, I mean, you know, I'm dealing with people on a daily <laughs> yeah, basis, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but, but yeah, uh, so I, yeah, I ended up switching over to, uh, to the business side. Yeah. Okay. You want yeah. To say something? Oh man, I'm just, I'm just getting back to this. Like I said, a trailblazer, right? Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like I'm talking. I feel like I'm talking to a trailblazer. I'm in that I'm in that mode right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm Appreciate like, okay. So you get into a space, nobody's there. Yeah. What gives you, I won't say it, the dog to go to, to jump into that fight and to keep going mm -hmm. after something like this? Mm -hmm. Because 
Nobody. Exactly. I, I hadn't even yeah. thought about insurance. Exactly. exactly. There's no for like, in the a, hip industry. Yeah, I was exactly. like, I had you know cars, mm-hmm. houses, dogs, you know all that yeah. good stuff. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But like companies that need insurance for for what they might need for the uh, for the hip industry is kind of mm-hmm. different. Yeah. What made you decide to keep going after it, even though it wasn't you know something you were readily familiar. available? There are a lot of people. I mean, I'm doing this, I'm saying this, I'm asking this question for the people that might be like uh, listening and, and paying attention. Like, because, mm-hmm. you know, some some of us get to doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But and, we're, not and, and, and we're not going to turn it and exactly. open the door. We're exactly. just, like, uh, that's a stop. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going there. Exactly. Nobody's there. Why yeah. do that? Why do that? Exactly. What, why, why would you do that? Well, thank you. I think that's a great question. I mean, I think, <laughs> um, you know, Oh, there's a few ways I can answer that. Really. But, <laughs> I mean, but, but I, mean, I mean, I think a lot of times when you're, like you said, trailblazer, when you're trying to to do something, a lot of times you you know you you kind of have to pave the path for yourself. Yeah. Mm, and when yeah. you see something and you really have, you really you, you when you have confidence in it and and you really see it and uh, and you feel it. Uh, I think sometimes you got to follow that and that's really what it was and I had also been trying to start a company myself in that space and I just I saw mm-hmm. you know I just saw things going so well for it the projections and just and I and I honestly you know in terms of what it does for people really is what I'm getting at right I, I believed yeah. in it yeah and that's really okay, that's you know, and I fantastic. took it personally yeah. And, yeah. And, and I believed in it and mm-hmm. you know and at the time you know in in Florida in a lot of the states like it wasn't really talked about much wasn't mm-hmm. used yeah, much exactly. and so that's why mm-hmm. I found myself flying to the west side of the United States really to even mm-hmm. you know and then it was once I got over there I started mm-hmm. to, you know really see wow okay you know it's alive out here you know yeah, yeah. and so um, you know so once I saw that, like I said, I, I really did believe in the product and mm-hmm. I did use it and I saw the benefits and, um, you know, I saw what it could do for people. I, I believed in what it would do in terms of, you know, success in the industry. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so I decided, hey, and I saw then again through my own personal experience, I, mm-hmm. I saw, you know, it was difficult to procure the insurance and, uh, and I knew insurance. So, you know, it was just kind of, you nice. know. Just putting everything hand, together, hand, really. Hand in hand. Oh, yeah. Oh. So let me ask you this question. So you you got it. You're in the space now. So how you how are you existing now in the space? How is it? How do you see it growing in terms of like like you know? There's really not that much. I mean, when you told me about it, I was like, wow, I didn't even think about that at all. Because you know, I'm an insurance right. agent as well. So I was like, I never even heard of this by far. I know that the the cannabis space and the hemp space was like kind of growing as things, the laws were changing and things to that effect. So do you have a mentor in the space that actually kind of taught you the information or you, how did you get the information to keep on going? You said, I know you said you went out to kind of discover information out West. Yeah. So, um, I had, yeah, I definitely had some people that helped me out and you know, I'm very grateful to that out, out West in, uh, in, uh, California and Colorado. Okay. Um, so, and, uh, mostly in Colorado okay. and at the time they were, you know, they were really ahead of. Of, of everything in, in the country, you know, when, mm. um, when things, you know, information and, and everything was so difficult to find out, they mm. were, they were really moving it for the country. So, mm. um, I definitely had some people in the space mm. and in the insurance space there, mm. um, that took me on and trained me and helped mm. me. Um, and, and yeah. And then from there, I just, you know, I just kind of picked it up and I was mm. very ambitious with just kind of, mm. you know, learning as much as I can. And I still am. I, I don't believe in staying complacent. I always think there's more to learn, um, and I want to be the best agent I can for my clients. So I'm just constantly on a learning mm-hmm. curve. So let me ask you a question. So what is the 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 climate for like like that whole thing right now? I, I mean, it's kind of to me, it's like up in the air. I know in California they got certain things. It's legal here. So is it is it it's legal there and legal here? I mean, what do you have to have a, a card? I mean, how does it work? Uh, like for a customer yeah, or for, for a, a customer, business? For a customer, right. Uh, so every state has, you know, mm. its own legislation. Mm. Uh, but I would say to kind of keep it simple and for mm. the most part, mm. it, it's legal. Um, okay. You know, obviously you want to be over 18 and or 21 years old. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's restrictions on, you know, certain aspects of mm. the industry. But but yeah. in ter- for a consumer, yeah, no, it's not like you need a recreational uh, it's not like you need a sorry a medicinal card uh, to go purchase it. You, you know the weird part about it. I don't want me to go into politics or anything like that. But the strange thing to me is that like there's a certain period of time 
in our history that you got caught with a certain amount of weed or cannabis and you went to jail for a long period of time. Like, like now it's, there's people who are still serving. Like now it's like legal. Like, you know, there's a dichotomy like art now. Shouldn't these people be released based on the fact that now it's legal? You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Or should, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole other thing. Go ahead. You it say it, it's a whole, it's, it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a whole other topic. But, it's yeah. it's got to be insane yeah. to be like, yeah, yeah, we're out here selling what you went to jail for. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, or, or, yeah. or, you know, this is, this is, we're more talking about hemp though. Yeah. I was going to say those are two Okay, yeah, explain. Explain, different. yeah, explain so, that. Yeah. So hemp, you have to be yeah. under 0.3% THC. Okay. Uh, and, you know, you've got certificates of analysis that, to prove that by third-party labs that you should have on hand. Right. And that you should have readily available, really, you know, by QR code for your customers. Okay. Um, mm. And so, you know, and available on your website for them to see. Mm. Uh, you know, marijuana is a whole other plant. Uh, okay. And also above 0.3% THC. So, okay. um, and so, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's, <laughs> that would be a whole other, oh, so uh, a whole is other it above that? Show. Is it above that yeah. by nature or just, or by what they might sell, sell you? So, well, hemp in general has a smaller uh, THC percentage, a D9 THC okay. percentage. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, and. So yeah, you have to have under the 0.3 for it to even legally sell it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's not you know it's not meant to be psychoactive or anything like that. Okay. 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 Yeah. It doesn't make me. Okay. So what is it yeah. supposed to do for you? Like make you just feel hungry after you get your smoke? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, like what type of products? Yeah, what yeah, type of products yeah. are they insuring? I mean, I don't, so I'm not. You know, are you on that side? The products myself. <laughs> I'm just selling thought, the insurance. Just so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, so I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Against. Uh, you know, but but you know, they're 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 known to have. Mm-hmm. Um, they're known to have a lot of more like homeopathic oriented type of benefits um, and not, not so nerves? much to get you high. Okay. Like uh, muscle rubs muscle and okay. skin like, care type yeah, stuff. They've got topicals like, that topicals you can put on. And, they've got, they got sublingual, they have sublingual drops that you can use gummies. I mean, all kinds okay. of things, um, okay. but, but uh, more, more subtle. Uh, mm. And less of like a psychoactive high than, than okay. marijuana would. So, and it became really popular. Mm. And uh, and so, you know, when people are trying to procure their insurance, you know, mm. going to a lot of the main carriers, mm. um, you know, they they didn't really know too much about the risk, or they weren't willing okay. to cover the risk. Mm. Uh, you know, didn't have access to the carriers that did cover it. Mm. Didn't know too much about the products, the operations, mm. and and all of that involved. Mm. And so. Um, you know, it's it's nice to be able to, to find an agency that, that is able to do all that for you. So how many agencies are in South Florida that are similar to what you do? Is it a lot or, or you're None, come to me. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No, right here. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know how many. I, I honestly I'm not sure. So you might be are, like not many. You might be like in a unicorn in this space right now. Are you a There unicorn? are some that do it and uh, you know. There are some that do it. I, I honestly don't know how many, um, mm-hmm. but I mean, uh, there are some okay. that do it. Yeah. So you're okay. So you're specifically for like a business to business situation. Yeah, right? commercial insurance. Commercial insurance. insurance. To, yeah. Okay. Not any individual clients. Now, what is the liability that you're insuring against? Okay, so I mean, we do everything from uh, what well, we offer with the carriers that we've partnered with, really, for anything from product liability, general okay. liability. So product liability, you know. Um, as you know, working in the space, but you know, for you and anyone that's listening, really, mm-hmm. yeah, in case someone obviously they take your product and mm-hmm. you know, allegedly, you know, your product caused some sort of harm to them. I you know, like you. general liability, third party injury, property damage, someone's in your store, they slip and they fall. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to go to a farmer's market and you want to mm-hmm. market your products. A lot yeah. of them, as a contingency to exhibiting, will say, hey, look, we need to see your, your proof of insurance, your certificate of insurance. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do property, um, mm-hmm. theft and fire, let's say. Oh, okay, you know, yeah. a fire happens and you, you've got your, your whole manufacturing manufacturing facility, you've got your machines and inventory and, and okay. all that in there. Uh, workers' compensation, mm-hmm. um, you know, an employee gets wow. injured while in the, the scope of employment, um, you know, so, and, uh, you know, really, I would say those are the main, mm-hmm. you know, the main areas that, that we cover. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's definitely a need for it. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, and like I said, we understand it. We've got access to it. So it, it mm-hmm. uh, you know, it worked out and I, and I, I try to do my due, I do do my due diligence for my clients as much as I can really. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know. 
and I know the industry, so especially even people that are new too, I'm, I'm happy to, mm. when I have the time, you know, get on the phone with them and help them, mm. you know, with any mm. questions and just with the knowledge I've acquired over the years. So, yeah. Yeah. It works oh, out. Man. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's definitely a, a big piece of, you know, uh, of what I do now is mm -hmm. really, you know, yeah, specializing in, in the hemp industry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah. Segwaying into mm -hmm. the next part that we've heard about, yeah. but I didn't get to hear it in your story, mm -hmm. uh, the acting part. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. The acting part. I didn't quite, we, I don't know if we quite let you get to that point. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I might have been the one that to yeah. interrupt I'm, I'm, in, I'm in, <laughs> Exactly. Acting, 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 acting. Mm. What's your favorite part? Uh, what do you mean by part? Like, what's your favorite? Like role? Ro what's your favorite thing about acting yeah. okay okay thank you yeah because when you say part i'm like you mean, <laughs> like, you're like role part role part of the acting industry part, yeah. yeah right if you need an like, acting part or, or <laughs> yeah. part of acting see that's the legal that education my favorite like, part yeah, make yeah. sure i specify what the insurance of education yeah but um no the the part of acting uh i i think it's being on the other side of the lens being on the the character the mm. the actor side of the lens you know mm -hmm. so you've got people that love being on the other side of the yeah. camera you know, and they love directing and all of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I love being on, you know, on the actor's side. I love mm. uh, just, you know, learning acting. I, I've, I've studied so many methods mm. and, uh, and you know, I've years of, of uh, classes and workshops oh, wow. and, um, yeah. and all kinds of stuff. And I, I love, I love learning it. Um, mm. It's, uh, it's mind blowing, really. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so, so let me ask you a question. There's several different acting methods because I used to, you know, in my past have also like, you know, kind of like managed some actors before. So there's different methods uh, of acting, you know, and there's different schools, you know, of acting like, you know, it comes out of a, like New York and California and things to that effect. Like who is your like, you know, because there's a Lee Strauss, right? Like Strasburg, Strasburg yeah. method. So there's different methods. Like what method of acting that you're actually probably attracted to the most? So uh, to be honest, I kind of mm. have a, I have a combination of a few really. No. Um, mm. And I've studied a few over the years and, mm. um, and I really, I really kind of combine a few of them. Okay. Uh, give us, a, give us an example. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've studied Strasburg. I, I, I mm. mean, I've studied really, uh, a number of them. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know which one I would say I, I attributed to mm -hmm. uh, more so, you know, one than the other. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, I mean, it's it's hard for me to really nail down which one particular. I honestly think you can take mm -hmm. some of them. You know, are more mm -hmm. uh, you know like Stella Adler, more yeah, Stella character Adler. development. Yeah. You know, uh, some of them are more. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, bouncing back and forth and kind of and kind of playing with it. Mm -hmm. Some of them are more, uh, you know, getting into, uh, you know, getting into the story itself and the plot itself and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So I think really combining all of them together has been, um, you know, I would say, uh, you know, Stella Adler is another okay. one that I'm huge on. Okay. Um, you know. And who's your favorite actor, by the way? Oh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, man, yeah, that's hard. Yeah. yeah, that's hard. Oh, I, I yeah. would say, um, I would probably, I mean, I've always loved Will Smith. Uh, really? Interesting. I've, I've always loved Will Smith. Uh, I would say, okay. um, you know. I mean, I'm talking about like your, who's iconic as an actor to you? Yes. Like to me, it's like Robert De Niro and like, De Niro. And, and, and also like Pacino. Like, cause I just, I just saw, I just saw Scarface for like the, the umpteen time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, like he's just like, it's one of my most favorite movies. Cause he's, he's, he's pretty much himself in every other movie, but that's the time I feel like he actually was like playing a character that was, was like, you know, a character, you know? Yeah. And he played that role so well. I could watch that movie over and over again. And I could watch Casino with Robert De Niro over and over again, even though I feel like they play themselves. They they play the aspects of themselves, but they're but they're such great human beings of emoting that emotion in that space as themselves that it's great, it's fine, you know. Because it's like to me, it's like Robert De Niro, Denzel Washington, and 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 Al Pacino, and that's like my my three, my my big three. You know big what I'm saying? Three? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you had a, you had one, Will Smith. Yeah. Um, you know, my mind is drawing a blank right now, but. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. I think is a very good actor yeah. as well. Uh, mm. Will Smith. Uh, mm. You know, I've always liked him just because I feel. I just I, his personality and the way he does his roles. I mean, and yeah. he's always you know touched very me versatile. with his yeah. yeah. He's very he's always touched me with that. Yeah. By the way, I meant, I forgot completely forgot to mention Uda Hagen on the on the teachers. Uh, that's that's definitely one of the, okay. the hugest uh, okay. yeah impressions that have been made on me. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I would say yeah, Uta Hagen's big, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I would say um, yeah, I don't, you know, I'm really honestly drawing a blank to be honest with you, but I would say yeah, Will Smith is the always the one that comes to my mind. You must be come from a different generation, man, because <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, like you know, because you said it's Will Smith, I just realized it's generational things because like. Like you're the first person. Like I, w- I wouldn't think Will Smith in the What's beginning. It? Well, I'm thinking John Q. I, I just can't. I, I know John Q it. Is, is Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Yeah, you know that's what I, I, for some reason I couldn't get the name. Denzel Washington is has mm. always been a, mm. another actor mm. that I, I. He's probably like my top actor. I would say I, mm. I love watching his work. He's mm. he's very talented. Mm. Really smart guy. Mm. Um, even recently, I've been really into. Um, I'm so bad with names, but. Mm. Uh, the actor on um, on uh, what's what is the name of the sh- the bear uh, who was also in um, Shameless uh, okay. who was also in the, the recent uh, couple of movies he's done. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can see I can see his work when you know in the in the shows. I can uh-huh. see him using. Uh, mm-hmm using methods and, and just, you know, mm. uh, having his secondary and primary objects and just, you know, the way he, mm. you can see him thinking and, mm. you know, because we're often, we look at things mm. and you don't even, re- like, so you, you might be looking at something while you're thinking, you don't even realize right. you're subconsciously looking at it. Like you're on the phone with me yeah. and you're, hey, what's up? How are you? Okay. You know, I'm, I'm actually, you know, I'm over here, you know, down the street, I'm doing this. You're looking at something, but you don't even really, you're not consciously looking at it. Right. Whereas if you look at the clock and you tell me the time, you're consciously looking at it. Yeah. So like there's certain little things that I, I see some, I mean, there's so many things, but uh, I love watching them and I see them doing it and, yeah. and they're, it's so real. So, uh, so, so let me ask you a question. So like for me, Silly and Murphy on, on Pinky Blinders, like one of my favorite actors, period. He's been in Batman, been in a whole mm-hmm. bunch of other stuff. Um, do you have a series of, of or like either a movie that's your favorite movie that an actor's been in a favorite movie that you like or a series or television series like <clears throat> Breaking Bad or something like that? Well, that's why I was going to say um, I really was into The Bear. I thought that show was awesome. Um, mm-hmm. You know, my family's from Chicago, so I'm okay. a little biased, but I, <laughs> yeah. but I really thought they did a wonderful job. I mean, okay. all of the actors there and the way that they worked with each other, mm-hmm. that show was uh was very good. I actually watched, which is very rare for me. I watched it back to back twice. Okay. Um, I really, yeah, I thought it was tremendous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, check nice. that out. Yeah, check yeah, that yeah, out, yeah, man. Yeah. Man, okay. I, I, I got a couple up there. Mm-hmm. Denzel Washington is definitely, definitely up there. Yeah, he's, definitely. He's, definitely. he's, 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 a, he's a beast. <laughs> he's a man, mm-hmm. and just mentioning Denzel Washington, I'm not even going to get to my other two because I want to ask you this next question. Mm-hmm. Watching him do, have, did you ever see him um, do Roman... J. Esquire. Oh, J. Yeah, that was a great yeah, movie. Did you ever one, see him yeah. do that? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, one yeah. of those, right? Bring it yeah. back a little bit, but do yeah. Do you yeah. ever see yourself going that far to portray oh, a character? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's that's a great. Because <laughs> if I want to, I want to yeah. give y'all some context. Mm. In this movie, Denzel picks up weight, a whole bunch of weight. Yeah. To do to perf- to perform this character. Yeah. And you know, we've got other people who have lost a lot of weight exactly to perform. Like a character. I forgot what like, the like, guy like. like Christian, oh, was Christian, it Christian Bale? Bale? Christian Bale? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. He's just he like, was he lost, he's like both. anorexic. People, yeah. people are saying that he took some years off of his life trying yeah. to perform yeah. this role. Yeah. Like, and I feel like this is, a, this is another way of yeah. performing roles. Mm-hmm. Do you ever see yourself um, going even close to that far? Yeah. And second part of the question who would it be that you would play to perform this? Oof, that's a good question. Um, so yeah, I mean, some of those actors, not all of them, but um, so there's some method acting in there 
there's there's characters that will literally there's uh, actors rather that that will literally you know if they want to be a taxi driver they will go with a taxi driver for mm. months yeah. just to learn they'll, they'll if they want to be they need to be a doctor they will they will shadow a doctor for months and mm. learn just every little thing about every mannerism every uh, you know every daily task everything to mm. to really oh, learn and that. be that yeah. Because wild. it's not I am being the doctor; it's I am the doctor. Yeah, uh, and exactly. so you know, in a, in a lot of you know, depending on what the theories, you know, there's substitution yeah. in theories where you mm -hmm. know you're you're substituting uh, you know events from your own life, uh, you know, into the into the plot of yeah. the of the uh, the show or the play or whatnot. So it really kind of depends on which way you take it. Mm -hmm. I more so prefer to be. Uh, into I like imagination. I love being mm. in the plot mm. as the playwright wrote it, uh, mm. and that's what I like. Um, so what I what I go to certain extremes. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, you honestly, like, do you see yourself? I mean, I mean, it's, it's a character. You know, player. it's a character yeah. development. It's, it's a it's a character development, and yeah. it's a it's a commitment. Yeah, I mean, I, that's I could part of research, right? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. a lot. I think that would be fun. Mm -hmm. You know, I. I uh, I see myself, you know, like a Will Smith, Vince Vaughn, like type of like funny, okay, yeah. like kind of light comedy, yeah. like romantic comedy type thing, you know. Type of thing, uh, yeah. But honestly, at really action. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I would love to do. I'd really love to. You know, get my toes wet in a lot of different like Ryan Reynolds areas. type of things. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 I, I, yeah. I can see it in a, a Ryan. Uh, that's Reynolds. where I see it. Yeah. 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 That's where I kind of see it yeah. going. But I, yeah. I, I mean, I would love to to uh, show range and diversify yeah. Yeah. out of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, I definitely think uh, that it's something that I'd be open to and that I'd be I'd be happy for the opportunity to arise with, man. Dope. Yeah, definitely, dope, man. Dope, yeah, dope. yeah. I could see I could see uh, Richard as like that. How whole. Ryan Reynolds. What's the other guy who's like Ryan Reynolds? He's a um, he's in like he's in the Fall Guy just recently. It's in another movie. He's kind of similar to Ryan Reynolds, but he's a uh, I think he's another Ryan. He's another actor, but uh, similar to that. And but what I want to ask you is like you know a lot of actors like Jim Carrey, like he got into like certain actors that get into a a, a role and then you can't talk to them. Like they're staying character the whole time. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. is that healthy? I mean, I don't know if it's healthy. Is it? And then you can't if you say anything, so they just respond in that character the whole time they're filming. Like. Yeah. So, um, who was it that I I heard? I think it was Jared Leto in the uh, Joker role. Joker role. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's different oh, methods, man. you yeah. know. So like I've heard, uh, you know, yeah, you know, you'll go, you know, you know, they'll say cut. You go to get lunch or whatever, and they, <laughs> they don't the need that character. <laughs> yeah. Man, you know who my favorite person is? And that's like, not what I study. You don't, do, you don't study that, though. Whatever works for you. Yeah. My favorite, this is my second favorite actor, mm -hmm. and it's not a not serious role or nothing, yeah. but Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Yeah. Will Ferrell. Yeah. Will Ferrell. Yeah. Will Ferrell. His number of course. You know, I didn't think about that. Yeah. My God. Yeah. That's a comedy actor to me. Like, yeah. he's, he's like one of my most favorite actors on the planet. He stayed, I heard, like, like I've, I've heard of, um, Mm -hmm. uh, um, interview with Kevin Hart because uh -huh. you know they did they did a, I think they did like yeah they did that, that, that uh, movie with him in the gym. oh my gosh he's he was so like nice. man he just he stays in the character he's, he's <laughs> like he, just, he, he keeps the joke going so long yeah you yeah. don't know when he's come out of it yeah yeah, oh, yeah. he's awesome <laughs> yeah. I mean Look, Steph Brothers awesome, and I mean I go oh, on and on about oh Talladega Nights Talladega Nights listen listen let me tell you something between Step Brothers and Talladega Nights like my favorite movie, like you know, what I'm saying, yeah. like yo, Anchorman, bro, Anchorman, Anchorman. oh, Anchorman, <laughs> Anchorman yes. too. Yes. Oh, well, hey, listen, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that because to be honest with you, Will Ferrell is like one of my most favorite comedian actors of all time. Bro. Oh yeah. yeah, I find myself still still yeah. quoting his movies, yeah. and I always yeah. will. Yeah, you know, he's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. the yeah. Will's in his DNA, the Will, the Will Smith, the Will's got the Will Smith, got the Will Ferrells. Yeah. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on my third, but this conversation is gonna bring up a third. Yeah. Uh, next question, though. We talked mm. about acting. We talked mm. about insurance. Mm. Um, what made you want to do Muay Thai? 
Oh, so, well, that's, yeah, so that's how we met. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. how we met. Yeah, obviously, in third. I'm, um, just, I'm just feeling hurt right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I mentioned it, like, actually. Ah, so ah. to be honest, uh, it's it honestly is to my my buddy Ellie, uh, who I, when I was in an acting class, uh, mm. I had a buddy in there, and he was uh, very into Muay Thai. Okay. And I said, you know, I've always wanted to, to get into that. Mm. And he was like, ah, oh, come to class. And so I was like, mm, mm. all right, why not? <laughs> yeah. And so you know, he came in. I, I came in. He's like, yeah, this is my buddy Rich from uh, from acting class. And I was, you know, completely lost, and, uh-huh. yeah, and yeah. I was a little nervous at first. I didn't know anything about. It. I had done taekwondo uh, as a child, uh, okay. you know, for a couple of years, but um, you know, and I got into it there, and uh, yeah, I mean, now I don't even know. I've been doing it for probably I don't know two and a half, three ish years, something okay. like that, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's where, yeah, that's where I met Dirk uh, yeah. over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, over Full at Marfort Muay Thai. Marfort, uh, Freddy. Yeah, Marfort, plug out. it. And, Freddy, uh, Marfort, Marfort <laughs> training. Come out. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, it got me into that. And then, uh, mm-hmm. you know, like he was saying, I, I uh, yeah, I got into that. And I, I do uh, fly out to uh, Thailand once or twice a year. I train there for a few weeks. And I, I yeah. love to get into the meditation oh, and, yeah. and just the culture itself. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, and, and then here, you know, I'm there at least two, three days a week. And I... Uh, you know, honestly, usually twice a week, and I, and I you know, an occasional three. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, I go four times. I'm not going to bluff it. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> most people, most people go more than me. I should go more. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm busy. I'm just busy with everything, and yeah. uh, I'm at the gym a lot too. And yeah. so, um, you do the gym you know. and the Muay Thai. Yeah, I'm uh, at the gym like oh, you know wow. four okay. to like four-ish days a week, and then Muay Thai two days a week, and then okay. I take a day off. Okay. So, um, so yeah, yeah, and I hit the bag usually, uh, okay. you know, when I'm not there. So, right. but yeah, no, I love it. It's um, it's a training, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it, and I think it coincides with uh, it works with. I mean, I, I did I've done some yoga in the past as mm-hmm. well, so mm-hmm. I do the yoga to really loosen up and you know stretch the muscles before mm-hmm. and after the Muay Thai. Uh-huh. I do that a lot. Every oh every every class. I mean, before right. I come there, yeah. I mean a good 15, 20 minutes of mm-hmm. yoga and stretching before I get. There. Okay. Oh yeah, nice. definitely. Yeah. That's why he's also so, really he's yeah. so loose and relaxed. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why is he so loose and relaxed all the time? Yeah. Ready you know to go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, and I, you know, and I think you know, with the meditation too, it's all it's a it's a level of being humble and patient that go into a lot of these things. Yeah. And does, um, yeah. you know, in your mind, your mm-hmm. body, your spirit. I mean, yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Um, everything is connected, and so mm-hmm. I think you know, working on them all, I think, is what you need every day. Yeah, 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 man. I mean, um, one thing you did talk about is the uh, the whole thing, the aspect. So, like, I know you like to travel because you're a world traveler. And yeah. that was it. The the aspects of martial arts that caused you to travel. You just like traveling your own, but they just kind of kind of merged together at the same time. I love that question, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great yeah, question. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, I really do though. I'm, uh, <laughs> uh, so actually, I have always had this uh, fascination with with Asia. I don't know why. I just yeah. oh, I've always wanted to see it. Uh-huh. Um, and I taught English as a second language for a number of years. Oh, and nice. I, you know, getting to know people from all around the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I find it so interesting. I mean, mm-hmm. everything from what do you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to yeah. you know what you know. How does your religion work? How does your your daily you know uh, you know your daily routine work? You know, in Europe, you might take a couple hours off for for lunch hour. Uh, You know, you Mm -hmm. might eat uh, in certain countries a lighter breakfast and a heavier dinner or heavier and vice versa. Uh, You might, you know, I mean, there's religions and and just uh, there's customs and traditions that are just so different. And so, like, you know, you're born kind of in this box and then Mm -hmm. you kind of start saying, oh, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I wonder what what everybody else is doing. Yeah. yeah, And so, but so to answer your question, actually, one of my... uh, uh, one of my coaches at one of my my gyms, a, a Muay Thai gym, a couple of years ago, mm. um, he fought out in Thailand, okay. and so I had wanted to go to Asia, and so I, you know, I said, hey, you know, after class, can we? He would talk, you know, when I fought in Thailand, I did this, and you mm. know, and it, I, it kind of kept ringing to me, and so mm. after class, I was like. Hey, can I talk to you? And yeah. so after class for a number of weeks, he would sit there graciously and tell okay. me about Thailand. Okay, nice. And I would just oh, sit there, you know, nice. sweating, just like <laughs> sore and sweating, like man, I would just, I just be envisioning Thailand. Yeah, and so yeah, I was like, yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And um, and so yeah, I mean that, and uh, yeah, you know, I have, I just had the ability to go, uh-huh. uh, and uh, and loved it. Uh-huh. And uh, so Thailand was where I started, and uh-huh. then I. And then I, you know, I got out the map and I was like, well, where else do I want to go? You know, I, I talked to people while yeah. I was there and then, um, you know, that turned into a few months of just kind of 
you yeah. know, traveling on and off. Yeah. But, you know, I bounced around South America, bounced around Southeast nice. Asia. You look like you'd be a yeah. backpacker, like, in South America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'd be like, I'm going to just do the backpack and do a, go up. Uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of what I did, really. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I, you know, I go for a month or two or three, whatever. I come back and I go back. And, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, beautiful, man. Yeah, Ooh. I love it. I love Ooh. it. I do. I gotta uh, get into insurance. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a joke, but it's serious. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> I, if I could go around the world, I mean, to be honest with you, you know, I have to commend you because, to be honest with you, like to think outside the box, to be like, I'm gonna go to Europe or I'll go to South Central America or go some other country or Asia. Be like, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna see and explore. Yeah. I'm just going to explore different cultures. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to find a different way of thinking about the world. And I'm going to try to, to learn things that I don't know about. And just, just like be courageous, just go out there. Yeah. I think that's, I probably think, I think that goes part and parcel why you even went into the whole hemp thing. Because when I start thinking about it psychologically, mm -hmm. it's like, well, obviously you're able to, 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 to uh, blaze a trail doing that. Uh, you know, having the aspect of going out on your own to do this where you don't have any like any type of like uh you know something to to um to like to hang on to just to go out there and just like that's a courageous thing so it, it probably carries over to other things and it's just like the fact that like yeah i mean it takes a lot to do that thank you that, yeah i mean yeah that was definitely a i think that's a accurate and intelligent deduction on it yeah man like thank so you. that's basically yeah i mean it, it was a compilation of things you mm -hmm. know i i had met a few students while i was teaching that mm -hmm. recommended some books to me and mm -hmm. you know gave me some insight and some different things and i got into reading a lot of books and watching a lot of videos mm -hmm. and um and just on you know passions in life and all of these things and so uh you know that kind of incentivized me to go as well mm -hmm. um i had wanted to to get into uh, meditation and it was you know out there obviously is a you know an mm -hmm. opportunity one of the best opportunities to do that so yeah. i do you know short meditation retreats while i'm out there as well mm -hmm. um and uh yeah you know stay out there and uh you know northern thailand and do that and mm -hmm. it, and it was just mind opening i just wanted yeah. to grow learn yeah and um yes yeah, yeah. so there's a yeah. lot of things the martial arts i mean yeah. it's beautiful mm -hmm. you know yeah. so so yeah it was a little bit of everything nice a little bit of everything. yeah nice mm -hmm. man nice. for sure yeah. nice definitely nice you want to say something actually yes <laughs> being of uh, italian and irish descent Mm -hmm. which which culture do you lean more towards mm, well yeah. I, I find myself arguing with myself a lot no 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 i'm just joking no, um, no, I, i'm joking with that yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. i'm like i don't know what i, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I wouldn't know it so. uh but no uh i mean you know leaning towards one or the other mm. i <sighs> Uh, you I, get I take pieces you, could, you couldn't get in the mafia because you, they're, you're, they're both kind of feisty saying, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If you watch the Departed, fire in them. like I guess it's the Departed, right? It was one of the other movies Which that one? basically, like, if you got to be full of Italian, you can't be like half and half. Oh, it wasn't that. It was Goodfellas. So they couldn't <laughs> let Robert De Niro's character get into the mafia because he was Irish and Italian. He had to be full Italian. Uh, Robert De Niro is yeah, your exactly, guy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you can't get in the mafia. So ah, you're not full well, I didn't Italian, know that. Right? So yeah, yeah, there you go. You got to be made. Ah. Like I just wanted to, if you if you wanted to know. Thank you. You know, uh, the, and, and the reason I don't I, have any intention I, of the reason, it. But... The reason I know this is because I have a friend, right? His his fam. You know, I tell you, I have a friend named Don. Shout out to Don, and uh, Don. It, and Don Don. Don was like, you know, he says Uncle Leo, and then Uncle Leo is one of the the uh, the uncles in the family, right? Of his of his father, and he's like. He said, um, he said, I was going to go work for Uncle Leo. He says, no, Uncle Leo has a bad retirement plan. <laughs> so he said, He'll help us out, but you don't want to go with Uncle Leo because he's got a bad retirement plan. <laughs> so that means he's, he was like, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in the family. But, you know, getting back to you, go, you, were, you were saying. Oh, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I think I take pieces of, uh, I think mm -hmm. I take pieces of both of them, really, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, you know, I'm probably what third, fourth generation, so I'm I'm far down the line. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, that was interesting. That was one of the interesting things about teaching English as a second language was mm -hmm. just seeing people that were a hundred percent, you know, one culture, what you know, from one country, and just seeing mm -hmm. uh, and, and seeing the traditions, the cooking, everything, yeah. you know, the the traditions, the culture, everything, mm -hmm. uh, you know, handed down. 
and uh, it was really inspiring. It was cool. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I would say at my point, I, I take I take pieces from both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my grandmother was 100% Irish, and uh, my family actually recently went out and, mm-hmm. and went to Ireland, and then they went into a store, and coincidentally, they said, hey, look, this is our last name, and they said, we know your cousin. Oh, wow. And, it was just, and then, and then they, said, <laughs> well, and they yeah. said, yeah, look, we'll show you, we'll show you the farm they grew up on, and then yeah. they went out to this farm, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and then got out, went out and had a couple of pints after, and they, everyone was, you know, so friendly, you okay. know. Oh, so yeah. my, you know, my family's still out and I still have family out in Italy as well. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. I'm honestly not that I really don't communicate too much with them, but I know we have, mm-hmm. we still have a lot of family out there. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, nice. oh, I would great. say both. Yeah. So, so who's on whose side? Is it, is it just on your grandmother's side, right? So is it like a mix? I mean, who's, what's your, your father and your mother? What, what are they particular? So my my dad is Italian. Mm. Uh, my mother is uh, a, is a Sicilian and okay. Irish. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So Sicilian is in there too. Yeah. So yeah, Sicily's yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh, you got some other aspects though. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool, yeah, man. Yeah. So Sicilians of... are different from Italians, right? Yes. They're different. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You got to specify. I mean, like, yeah. you got to specify that because yeah, know, certain right? people. Yeah. 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 Serious, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. serious you thing. You got to make the distinction. Yeah. It's a serious distinction, right? It's a serious distinction, though, right? You know it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Sicilians are like more hot blooded. I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but right? there's difference. There's differences. There's right? a difference. Yes. I know. Yeah. I know. Like Sicilians are very proud to be Sicilian. Yes. Right. And yes. Italians as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I've got you know yeah. my best one of my best friends is from uh, his family's from Sicily. Uh-huh. Um, you know mm. I've uh, yeah I've got a lot of close people with me from Sicily and Italy. Um, okay. I think yeah, they're both very proud and yeah. it's just different. Yeah. 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 And they want that to be known and that's they cool. They want it to be known, yeah. And that's cool. That's you know? cool. I yeah, respect yeah. that. So yeah. pride, yeah. baby. Pride. South yeah. Florida in the place. Y'all understand we have one of the best guests we've had so far, bro. Yeah, this absolutely. is a great interview, yeah. man. Appreciate yeah, I'm, that. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Appreciate Yo. that. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely, oh, man. man. Absolutely. We got man. we gotta do this again. Yeah, we got to, bro. <laughs> we gotta do this again. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on to our next question. Is there any more questions, Dirk? Any more? I, I'm questions? pretty much. I'm pretty much good. I mean, there's the only other thing I, I do want to get back to is the a little bit because I'm I'm intrigued about acting all the time. That's so cool. I, I, where okay. you like and basically not even that like like in terms of of not even just acting but you know to to close things out. What do you like envision for yourself like now? You're still pretty young. I mean, you want to go to California. You you want to try to go back into acting a little deeper. Uh, I know you like to sing. Your brother also is a musician, so I, I'm sure you might do some collaborations. So, what is in the future for Richard? Like, you know, what I'm saying, is um, it still to go into the insurance business? You have so many options. I mean, like, I, I mean, we didn't go into your professorship, but that's pretty cool. And the whole lawyer thing. I mean, and I know you know being in law and things to that effect. But what does the future look like for you? Like, you know, where are we going? Uh, so, you know, one of the, so one of the book, one of the books that I was talking about earlier, they had the, the main focus of the book is intention, attention, no tension. I, and I love that. Okay. You know, having a specific intention, uh, you nice. know, putting the attention on what that is and, and trying to reduce the tension in your life so that you can accomplish those oh, things. Oh, cool. And, and so, you know, when I... I say that because it really helps me answer this question. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I think... You know, growing and you know keeping uh, you know my insurance agency mm-hmm. and my clients mm-hmm. happy mm-hmm. Uh, and well protected. You know, obviously is mm-hmm. is, is one of the foremost things. I okay. think you know continuing to mm-hmm. travel when I can mm-hmm. um, and just explore different cultures and grow and grow as a person. You yeah. know, is huge up there to me. Yeah. Um, and I think to continue acting, I do uh, personal coaching right now okay. on the Udahagen method, and nice. I, I love it. And uh, and I've studied so many methods before. That's why. I was, you know, I was mm. struggling to try to specify one before because I kind mm. of really, it's a mm. compilation. Oh, nice. um, but, but I think continuing to to study that, mm. um, and then yeah, I think I'll potentially, you know, move to uh, Atlanta, mm. uh, you know, or California um, on that, and just continue doing mm. that. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think you know, just obviously stay close with my family and friends, mm. and uh, mm. you know and stay as healthy as I can, mm. um, 
you know, to help me, you know, stay on the right path and, and mm-hmm. focus on the right things. Okay. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good. That's pretty good, man. You know, yeah. I, now, now you, you, you did explain to me certain aspects of it, but like, I'm trying to find out, like, I understand you're going to continue certain aspects, right? But like in terms of acting, I didn't know you did coaching too. That's pretty dope. Oh, sorry. So if I didn't know, I, uh, well, I have a coach that coaches me. I oh, don't yeah, do coach. the coaching. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. yeah sorry if good. I okay. said that incorrectly. Okay. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're, you're still in coaching in the process, right? So, I mean, how hard is it? In, to get into acting like I mean what is what is the, the difficulty I mean is it I mean for you I mean is it because I, I noticed that like certain actors mm-hmm. they tend to like they'll have a degree in acting right and they tend to end up you know getting a lot better roles because they and I'm, I'm, I'm when I started looking at their IBM right or IMD, IMDB IMDB <laughs> yeah, excuse yeah, me yeah. I start I recognize they usually have like a bachelor's or master's in, in, in theatrical arts or, or drama so it's, I mean, that's their actual, you know, their, their majors. So they tend to seem to be in like, you know, very good roles based on that. Cause they're, they're better obviously because they're trained properly. So, but you know, then you have kids who are like, they have never studied acting before. And all of a sudden they're like amazing. Why is there such a dichotomy in that situation? Good question. Uh, well, so acting has you know, different sectors to it. So, you know, you've got, you have your actors that like to do theater. Uh You have your actors that like to do, uh, you know, like TV and Mm -hmm. movies and, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, film. Yeah. Um, You know, you have your actors that do commercial work. You have, um, you know, so and it goes on. But I mean, Mm -hmm. I would say those are some of the main sectors there. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it's always good i think to be properly trained uh Mm -hmm. you know you have you have uh actors that go to very prestigious schools Mm -hmm. uh, and get properly trained there i mean you have you know proper training at uh at local at more localized Mm -hmm. uh schools as well Mm -hmm. um and so yeah i mean i think um you know, it, it's a hard, it's a, and is acting easy? I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily easy. I, I think, uh, mm-hmm. and you know, like, I'm still very premature in my, you know, my acting career, uh, mm-hmm. you know, but I mean, there's a lot of, you have to, you have to be comfortable with hearing no and, mm-hmm. and you know, and, and you know, and, and and at the same time, you have to keep an open mind. You, you know, you have actors that go on their first audition and get a yes, too. So yeah, it's exactly, like you just yeah. never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, the likelihood is that you're going to, you know, you're going to audition. Mm-hmm. You're going to walk into a room. A lot of people are going to look mm-hmm. pretty similar to you because you're coming <laughs> yeah. on this role. Yeah, yeah. You might flip a paper yeah, back and yeah. forth. And there's yeah. been a list list yeah. of people, you know, have been yeah. there. Yeah. And you just have to know, like, I'm properly trained. I'm ready for this. And, yeah. and, and I'm going to give it my all. Yeah. And uh, and after you get out of it you have to know like i'm not you know i am going to be more like solution oriented yeah. and, and to the you know to the situation and mm-hmm. more positive and, mm-hmm. and and just moving forward yeah. and you know mm-hmm. and then you, you see if you get that call back you see if you get that role yeah. it's a lot of um, it's a lot of rejection because i've done acting before got into it when i was younger yeah and so it's a lot of rejection you know and a lot of like mental toughness to continue to do something and keep yeah. in this nose all the time, mm. you know, and then only getting a certain amount of parts. Uh, you, of course, you have to have management to help you and, and things like that. I mean, now uh, for yourself, like how much are you like are you doing now that you, you continue to be able to get either further roles? Are you auditioning? A lot or, or how is that working now so right now i'm not uh, i'm mostly just doing training i took some time off to do the uh you know to do the insurance and build that mm-hmm. uh so but now i'm back in training and mm-hmm. i was auditioning and it was uh you know it was the primary thing i was doing for a number of years and then mm-hmm. i decided to open up the insurance and that kind of mm-hmm. you know took a lot of my time obviously but yeah. um now i'm back into training mm-hmm. and uh and i hope to be auditioning uh, within the next few months um and getting back into that and i think yeah like in the beginning you know mm. when i was younger i was like oh you know i want to be this famous actor and whatever but really what i've learned throughout the the process is Mm. i love the journey i love growing i love being a better actor i love i love it all and whatever comes out of it comes out of it i don't have the stress i don't have the stress of the future result 
yeah. in the back of my head. I have yeah. the love for the process and the journey. Oh, and I think man. that will bring me there. Yeah. And, yeah. Exactly. Uh, and so now there's no stress. Uh, yeah. Like I was telling you earlier, I think everything always happens for the right reason. Even in the moment, you're yeah. like, I don't know. What, how could this be for my betterment? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it always does. And, and trusting yeah. in that, uh, you know, trusting in that takes a lot of stress off and lets you be in the moment and be the best you can be, mm-hmm. uh, you know. So obviously some situations are tougher than others, but that mentality is, I think, a healthy one to keep. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. So Sounds good, man. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Actor, world traveler, professor. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Business owner. Guys, what an interview. You understand? Yeah, absolutely. I want to, and we want to, we want to, like, like, just one, one last thing. There's a lot, like y'all, like you guys were just talking about, mm-hmm. like we were just talking about, there's a lot of opposition, man. There's a lot of no's out there. Yeah, yeah. If you if you could give someone out there any encouragement or any words of uh, um, some type of, you know, words to say to somebody out there that is trying and striving to do anything close to what you just were talking about, yeah. what would you say to them? Oh, thank you. I think uh, there's so much I would say, but what I would say to you, if, if, if you know, in anything that you're doing in life, regardless of, of the industry and the goal is, uh, you know, is like I was saying before, you know, uh, focus, you know, focus your intention on specify clear intention is, is the biggest thing I've learned in life uh, that, you know, a lot of times I've had, you know, my eyes set on so many things that I'm not necessarily giving it all. Uh, and so, I would say, you know, having clear intention and, and, and finding that clear intention to the, to the most specific that you possibly can. Write it down. Get your thoughts out there and try to specify that intention uh, because it can be scary. It can be frustrating to try to, to specify with clarity your intention. Mm-hmm. But, but that, you know, that's something that's gotten me into trouble in the past, not specifying it enough. And I've, I've learned the hard way to do that, mm-hmm. um, you know. And, uh, you know, it really that saying is it was big to me, you know, focusing your, your attention on whatever that is, um, you know, you're going to have whatever you do, does it what you're doing, does it answer the question, is this leading me to the person that I want to be? Yeah. Um, and mm. and really, you know, that's a huge thing. You're going to have a lot of decisions in your life. And in the moment, you can catch yourself mm-hmm. a, a, instead of, you know, because we get in this routine. There's studies that show we have like, what, 80 percent of the same thoughts every day. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, oh, you wow. know, you you uh, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but it's something within it's that range. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, you know, catching yourself in that and mm-hmm. uh, and saying, look, it does what does this habit, this routine, this action, maybe in the particular uh, does it does it, you know, coincide with the person that I want to be? Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, just, you know, doing everything you can to keep yourself healthy on a mental, emotional, spiritual, physical level doing that and uh, and staying strong you mm-hmm. know uh, listen to staying yourself strong. you're going to have people out there that are going to say good things and bad things uh, mm-hmm. listen to the right people uh, mm-hmm. listen to the right people don't mm-hmm. always be running comparative analytics on on the people around you uh, this <laughs> yeah. person has yeah. this yeah. this person has that well yeah. why don't i have that car why don't i have this Ooh, don't beat yourself up be kind yeah. to yourself yeah. be kind to yourself and keep moving you're on your own path yeah. uh, and uh, you know anything's possible everything always happens for the right reason uh, mm-hmm. Even if you don't see it in the moment, it does. Yeah. And just yeah, you know, exactly. stay positive and uh, you know, work hard. And that's yeah, that's what I would say. Guys, nice, man, we're man. awesome. We're, man. we're awesome. Bro. Yes, man, sir. You. Thank, thank you, thank you guys man. for having me. Yeah, yeah. Man, we're working hard over here, right, <laughs> right here, here on, on the D and D Leveling Up podcast. And if, if you, you don't know, now you know. know. That's right, guys. Deuces, deuces, deuces. Thank you for having me. All guys. right, man. This is awesome. 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 Hey, man. Yeah, great job, bro. Great, bro.